We're meeting Hunter tomorrow. How do you feel? I don't want to talk about it. You're going to meet Hunter? I don't want to talk about it. And you wrote him a song. I don't want to talk about that either. Yeah. Hello. We're at a bus station. What else am I supposed to say? You missed the bus. <laughs> we missed the bus. So we're waiting for another, what is it, 15 minutes because we're going to take a different bus? I think so. Okay. We might take a different bus. And we're going to go see Hunter Hayes today. And then he's going to meet him for sure. So how do you feel about this? We're getting married. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't freak out. <laughs> She's not kidding, I promise. <laughs> Yeah. I tear the shrink wrap off and put the needle down Fill my bedroom up with the cash on and crank it up loud Because it makes me feel good Got the pedal picked hard in a Mustang drive Horses screaming at me, mama praying that I'll make it home alive But it makes me feel good Yeah, like sneaking out late Telling why to lie, still one more kiss tonight So, I'm really excited to go meet Hunter and have coffee with him And hopefully, you know, we'll go on a date later Try my best to be paid And I can't help feeling this way It's not my fault so don't blame me Cause love makes me And is it some kind of fiction Or the sweetest addiction So what if I'm crazy Cause love makes me do it
need to know that I want you. <laughs> Today, we met Hunter Hayes. Well, I got to meet him twice, because I'm a lucky girl. But basically... You're pleased, yeah, just fine, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> See him in concert in Cleveland, Ohio. I got to have the VIP coffee experience, which is right here. You get a little lanyard. You're going to show him your cup? Um, should I get my cup? I don't know. It's all available. I saved my coffee cup. It just says Hunter. It says it just says it just says H H I N. It's like got pink. his logo on it. Yeah. That's I also got this shirt, which I don't think I'm ever gonna wash because Hunter actually gave it to me with him his physical being. That's really creepy. I got to do the coffee house experience thing today, obviously. And for those of I you asking, sit outside for two hours while she did it in the cold. For those of you who want to know what it's like, it was about 20 people. There was tables. Although Hunter said that this one was a little bit different because this one was really nice. Like we had like little candles set up and it was like dim and dark and whatever. It was really cool. So there's about 20 people and he comes around and meets everybody and talks to us. Like talk his little head off like he always does. And does his little meet and greet and you can have him sign things. And people gave him presents and like actually people gave him food which was hilarious. Hunter was just explaining something about how he loves music and certain things about music. And like for me being a music buff like... I know what it's like to hear one note on a guitar or on a piano or in a song and it's not even the lyrics that kill you, it's that note and there was a few times you could see Hunter just like playing like his guitar and he just this look of excruciating like you could just feel it and like the whole time instead of me sitting there like oh my god you're so hot like everyone else was I was just like this like you were just like me you don't even know Hunter was just explaining something about how he loves music and certain things about music and like for me being a music buff like I know what it's like to hear one note on a guitar or on a piano or in a song and it's not even the lyrics that kill you, it's that note and there was a few times you could see Hunter just like playing like his guitar and he just this look of excruciating like you could just feel it and like the whole time instead of me sitting there like oh my god you're so hot like everyone else I was just like this like you were just like me you don't even know it and, the <laughs> and it was so funny he's like you guys are such a fun crowd out in the coffee house how 
rainy season was one of the songs that he didn't want to put on the record because it was so like heartbreaking and whatever but he explained that he wanted one song to fit any mood and to fit anybody because if you can't it's, he's like if you can't relate to like everybody's got somebody and if you can't relate to like all you ever then you can relate to rainy season or storm morning or like whatever so. stay classy scout Connor. okay wow i just <laughs> did that oh yeah well then, I decided to tell Hunter about my song, and if you have never heard the song about Hunter, you can click the link down below, which I will conveniently put in the description box. Funny. Yeah, then... well, we're talking about my song, you just ADD the whole I... conversation. <laughs> okay, well anyways, <laughs> about my song. Um, so I wrote, this, I wrote this song about Hunter um, a few months ago, when I first saw him, and like, I don't know, like at the time, I wasn't as obsessed with him as I probably am now. Really? Can I just talk about my song without you being in... <laughs> Did you die? Are you okay? Oh. That's okay, my baby. I'm promoting myself. So I wrote this song about her. And it's just this really like girly like song. Like basically like if I knew you in real life, this is what I would want to say to you. I'd want to say that like I want to be the inspiration for you for life. And so Hunter tweeted it and it was awesome. And I was like, thank you and whatever. So when I met him, uh, the first time, I didn't say anything, but I think he recognized me because he was like, nice to meet you, Robin, and then the locks. Okay, well then, the second time I met him, I was like, I wrote this song about you, and he goes, you did? I was like, yeah, you actually tweeted it, and he goes, oh, oh my god, I, I didn't even put two and two together. So it was like that, and I was like, oh my god, thanks, we talked, told me to follow my dreams, and to keep writing, so it was really awesome. And then I came home, and I posted my picture to his Facebook, and I was like, thanks for meeting me, heart. Guess what he does? He writes me back on Facebook, not just with a, thanks, nice to meet you too. You rock Robin in caps. And then a PS, sounds like the name of a song, Winky Face. And then I cried for like 15 minutes straight. It's where I the was hot green came from. That was really funny. <laughs> oh my god. This shirt is so cute. If you want to invest, it's $20. Um. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.